Hello, my name is Erica Eby, and I'm here to share a guided meditation that we just did with our small group Bible study this evening. It is a compliment to a sermon series by Don McLaughlin at North Atlanta Church of Christ here in the month of November 2020. It can be used by anybody, but I'll put a few links and comments below for some more context. So this is from a study of the book of Ezra and Nehemiah called Restore, making home feel like home again. And the purpose of the study is to give our church family and your family concrete steps for restoring a sense of community, of solidarity and of common vision in this time of the coronavirus pandemic and so much challenge and struggle in our country and in our world. Just like with Nehemiah and when he went to Jerusalem to help rebuild the city, we can use this time to help rebuild our community. I won't take the time to read the scriptures, but I'll put them down below as well. This is from Nehemiah chapter one and two, if you'd like to study those on your own. So the word of God says to meditate on the word and to write the scripture on our hearts and to meditate on it day and night. So I find guided meditations can be very helpful in doing that. There's so many beautiful scriptures that we can meditate on. So we'll do a little bit of that today. Part of the idea of rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem after they had been destroyed was that the destruction itself, the rubble, was going to be the material for the rebuilding. And that is true in our current communities, in our time, as well as in our hearts and in our individual lives. So this will be a guided meditation focused on that. Um, Don gave the example of junk in our house, you know, the junk drawer, the junk that's in the trunk of your car, um, the junk that's in your closet, um, and how sometimes there are treasures in there. There are very good reasons why that stuff just keeps sitting there day after day, year after year, um, because we know we might need that stuff sometime. Now, some of it might just need to be thrown out. Some of it's really useful, and some of those things might even be treasures. Um, so just like that, the things that are in our hearts have that mixture of things that are valuable and things we can really set aside. So we'll use this guided meditation as an opportunity to invite the spirit to, to sort through those things for us and give us renewal. So I'll invite you to just get comfortable. Um, you can set anything aside that's on your lap. Um, just sitting comfortably with somewhat straight spine is always helpful and in a position where you're not as likely to fall asleep, but also very physically comfortable, whatever that means for you and your body. So I'll invite you to close your eyes and turn your attention inward. The Bible tells us that our body is a temple of God, that not us, but Christ lives in us, that we've been given the spirit as an inner guide. So let's turn inward to the reality of the fullness of God living inside. So place your attention just on the physical area of your heart there toward the center of your chest, the center of your rib cage. Just taking a moment to be grateful for the spirit within and the guidance of the spirit. Now we use some imagery to invite the spirit to help give us some guidance. Imagine a large box on the floor beside you. Really picture it in your mind, in your imagination. Whatever kind of box you want, just a nice large one. And imagine you see a sign on the box that says, Holy Spirit's sorting box. And into this box, we'll put the things of our lives. We'll put things and let the spirit sort it out for us. So let's start by considering just simply all the things you've done today. Let's put those things in the box one by one. All of your responsibilities, activities, interactions, just place them all in the box. And next, your possessions. This box can expand as big as it needs to be or your possessions can shrink down as small as they need to be. And just visualize taking all of your possessions, no matter how many or few, large or small, 
place them all in the spirit's sorting box. And just be curious and playful with it, lighthearted. It's not a time for assessment of whether these items are treasures or junk, big or small, just all of it going into the box for the spirit to sort out. And now let's put our intangible possessions in the box. All of our thoughts, opinions, concerns, all of the knowledge we've acquired, put all of it in the box. All of the skills you've developed, place those in the box. All of your abilities, education, background, all of the intangible possessions, making no assessment of them, whether they're valid or not, large or small, significant or not, just placing all of those intangibles in the box. And now place into the box your hopes for the future, your dreams and desires, the big ones, the small ones, no need to assess them, just bring them to mind and place them all in that box. Anything else that comes to your mind, go ahead and place it in the box too. Place everything into the Holy Spirit's sorting box. And now following with Paul's instruction to the Romans, no need to figure out what we ought to pray about these things we've placed in the box, but invite the spirit itself to intercede. Invite the spirit to search your heart, your mind, your body, everything you placed in the box and allow the spirit to intercede on your behalf. And like the birds of the air that just soar and make their living, their provision given by God, just their daily bread, just their nest, Do not worry about anything. Like the lilies of the field, they don't strive. They just grow, sink their roots into the earth and get their nourishment, stretch to the sky, take sustenance from the sun. Do not worry about how you'll grow. But seek first the kingdom of God in this world, in your life. Seek righteousness that comes from that God, Christ, and spirit within. God, Christ, and spirit who created us. Seek that righteousness that's bigger and better than anything we could hope or imagine. Father, thank you for this time to allow your word to be written even more deeply on my heart and on the hearts of all who are participating. We invite you to guide us, to intercede for us, to give us your righteousness. Thank you for your daily provision for your comfort in these challenging times and for in even among the rubble, providing the material with which we can build ourselves, our hearts, our lives, our faith communities with eyes that see the way you see, with hands and feet that do the things you would have us do. 
and with hearts tuned into you as we experience each other, interact with each other, and love each other. In your son's name we pray, amen. If you haven't already, I'll invite you to open your eyes and just uh, return your thoughts the way you're sitting comfortably in your chair. And I invite you to savor uh, the experience of meditating on the scripture and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.